Learn how to open a door in Unity. Let's go! In your Unity project, right-click and add a cube. Move the cube in order to see it. Scale the cube to be slightly larger than the player, although just slightly larger. Then create a simple material to make it look more stunning. Set the color because we don't want it to be white. Give your door object a name. You don't want it to be called cube. Now copy the object. As you can see, you should copy it and you should resize it. Adjust the size and position. Make sure that your player can't jump and enter the zone. It would look like cheating. Now you should click and drag because you want to make another wall. If you are happy with the scene, you can continue. But I'm not happy because I want to assign a different material for the walls. First I will set the yellow color, but I still don't like it, so I will have to change it. Like this. Choose your favorite color, by the way. This is optional. Create the parent object. As you can see, the parent is above the door. You should move it slightly, but you should click the inner object, which is the door. And as you can see, this is what happens. The parent object makes the door move like this, and it can also rotate. Open animation to animate this door effect. But wait, you are missing something. You should first make a collision object. Name it collision and move it like this. If the player collides, it should open the door. At first, you are wondering what am I talking and how to make it happen. Go to animation tab. Create an animation object first. Name it door animation. Every animation has keyframes. To make keyframes, click the red circle. Now, you change the rotation of the object. Set the keyframe to, for example, 2 seconds. Hold CTRL and do this rotation. Now add the simple animation which has to have two identical frames. Name it door close. This animation has no changes. Just copy the first frame of the previous door animation and also copy that frame to make it just look like this. Disable loop time in Inspector. You should do this because you don't want the animation to be looping. It will need to play only one time and not more times. Now it's time for the next part of the video. First, make the closed door the default animation and add the transition from door closed to door animation. Add the boolean, not a trigger, because the trigger won't work as expected. Name it is collected because this is when we collect a coin and when we go closer to the door. Make sure to disable exit time and transition duration would be zero. Assign a tag to the door, door collision. collision. Name it door collider and to make the things work you should move on to the player script. But before moving you should put the tag into the door. Collider of course, not the door object. You need to assign public animator door animator because it's the reference to the door. Don't use on collision enter because you are using the door trigger for any object that is set to is trigger in the inspector. If other game object tag is equal to door collider. Other is the collider object, the player. And this line of code should be set. Set bool is collected to true, but be careful. Don't forget to add bool is collected and set its initial value to false in void awake. 
instead of saying true, say is collected. Save the script and test. When you try to approach the door, the door animation state changes. As you can see, the is collected is checked because it's true. But now I want to teach you how to make the opposite, how to make the door close. Now make another animation. Copy the door animation but inverse the last and the first frame. Move this frame to the first frame and this should be the last frame on the two seconds. It's like the first animation but in reverse. The collision object has to be moved away from the door because we don't want it to be moved. And make sure to set the door leave transition. Make transition is collected false. Disable has exit time. Instead of exiting collision, add a new collision tag. Because here is what happens. The door automatically closes. This is not what we want to happen. So for that reason, all animations should not be looping and another kind of collision should be made. Add the close door tag. Click and drag with the shift key and change the tag. Now you should come back to Visual Studio and in this part of the code you should copy the game object tag into void on trigger enter. Change the door collider to the collider that you defined before, close door. And instead of is collected being true, it should be false. Just add the open object and rename it to close door close collision, whatever. Now let's try. Open. Close. How can I open this door again? Oh my god, I need to fix this. You need to make sure that the animation comes back from door close to door animation. You should change the is collected to true because you are going back to the animated door, which is open. I am trying this on my mobile. And as you can see, it's working. But I am not happy because I can't find that door. And because of this jerky animation. To finish this video, I will only add some other finishing touches. Like, I will increase this because I want to make it more effective. You can adjust the colliders as you like. If you are not happy because it doesn't respond, make the colliders bigger. This is how it should look like. Now try again. Try to enter or leave the environment. This still has to be improved, but it's enough for this tutorial. Subscribe for more videos. My channel will be specialized for Unity game development videos. Have a good day.